Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, gang, get ready. We have impact weather on the way as we roll through tonight into tomorrow, even tomorrow night as occasional showers and even some thunderstorms can be expected. Uh, the greatest threat for a few strong storms, at least in around the metro area, will come tomorrow afternoon. We still have a severe thunderstorm watch. Not for the metro, much of the view and area void of this watch, but off to the south, Hart and Greene counties in Kentucky in our viewing area. Severe thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock tonight. We did have a big thunderstorm blow up near Bowling Green about an hour ago. It has since weekend. And by the way, the threat for severe weather, widespread severe weather tonight is pretty low. Just a little bit of light rain around Jefferson County and the metro, but you can see these scattered light rain showers all across the viewing area. And the farther south you go, you get into some heavier downpours, a little bit of lightning and thunder from southern Hart County over towards Greene County. This is all pushing into Adair County as well. So, yeah, if you're around Greensburg to Columbia, perhaps Campbellsville as well, be on the lookout for some heavier downpours, a little bit of thunder and lightning and gusty wind over the next 30 minutes. Greatest risk for severe weather going forward this evening looks to be farther south through Tennessee. Hey, in town right now, we're looking at cloudy skies, a few drips every so often, 69 degrees current temperature, humidity 73% and east wind at 8 miles an hour. All right, now the impact weather we've been talking about the past couple of days for tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, it's moving in as we speak. This is kind of a big storm system. Farther southwest you go, there's a lot of wind energy, a lot of instability. Looking at widespread severe weather running from portions of the Tennessee Valley and especially here in the deep south where we have severe thunderstorm watches and tornado watches in effect. But this entire system continues to crawl its way off to the east-northeast and it's going to be in and around the region tonight through tomorrow. Let's talk about that here on the Futurecast. All right, just a scattering of showers and a few rumbles of thunder on this Thursday night. It's not going to rain continuously, but we'll see occasional waves moving through. Here's tomorrow morning, yet we have a chance for a few showers. I really think the best chances for some dry skies, even a peak or two of sunshine, will come mid to late morning through early, early afternoon tomorrow. And then mid-afternoon and beyond, you can see as we kind of heat up the atmosphere and the energy moves in, boom, these scattered thunderstorms are expected to pop up across the region. Any one of these storms could produce gusty winds, maybe even some hail, and uh, also a lot of heavy rainfall. So be on the lookout for that. And shower chances will certainly last even into tomorrow evening. To break down your Oaks Day, could be a few showers early, but then again, as we head towards the first post and midday, mainly dry skies, low to middle 70s, then the scattered thunderstorms pop in the heat of the afternoon. That sends temperatures back into the 60s. Race 8, Oaks race, last race, all looking unsettled at this time. We do have at least a marginal risk for a few strong to severe cells on a scale of one to five. It's the lowest, a one, but we'll be on the lookout for that across the viewing area. Here is Derby Day. It's better in that, maybe just a little bit of drizzle in the morning. Aside from that, I think much of the day is dry. The problem with Derby Day, it's gonna be cloudy. It's going to be cool as well as temperatures top out at just 63 degrees. Here's our forecast in detail. Scattered showers, even a couple of storms south. The numbers will be in the 60s. Tomorrow's unsettled, especially as we cruise through the afternoon. We'll top out at 75 with the scattered thunderstorms most numerous in the afternoon. Little bit of drizzle possible Saturday morning, then mainly dry. Cloudy though at 63. Mom's day still looks terrific, mid-70s, a lot of sunshine. Talk about terrific. If you like summer-like weather, next week is your week as we're in the middle and upper 80s. Much of next week with lots of dry time and lots of sunshine. That's mm. very nice of you, but I would like tomorrow to have been my day. I know. Instead of next week, <laughs> my week. <laughs> Notice how each and every night that we've been giving this forecast, uh -huh. I'm getting a little farther away from you. Stepping away. Just, 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 just cry. I'm not even mad. I'm just... 
could so disappointed. Years yeah. of experience here. Yeah, heading out to the track, just be ready for it in the <laughs> afternoon. There's going to be scattered storms around.